starting off on a positive note, you guys. We are covered up in deer. We've had chasing, grunting, a lot of vocalization. But I can't even count how many deer we've seen, how much, how many different does that have been chased by box right by the stand. Um, but rewind to yesterday, we got out of here because the wind was supposed to be everywhere. Uh, east, west, north, south, you name it. And a five hour time span, it was gonna be every different kind of wind. So I elected to get down at 11 o'clock. What I wanted to do was go hunt the pinch because it was gonna be a southwest wind it would have been bulletproof for that spot. Same spot that I encountered him the first time when I was self-filming this year. And who do you think was there at two o'clock? 20 yards away from the stand was Hog Jr. So it's just hilarious. It's been a cat and mouse game with this deer, but he's definitely one of the most fun deer I've ever chased so far. I'm hooked on it. <laughs> Mornings like this makes you a deer hunter. And uh, man, I'm happy I decided to sit in the stand today. So we've got deer all around us right now. We've actually got a little buck coming in too. Um, it's November 14th, we're getting close to lockdown, if not already there. And uh, a lot of these does are coming in estrus right now, so. Hopefully he gets off a doe, or hopefully a doe brings him to us. Either or, I don't care. As long as he comes in at 20, 30, that's all I want. He's coming down. He's acting like he's got our wind, though. Oh, no, come down, come down, come Come in. 
Alright guys, it's about one o'clock. We just had an awesome encounter with a deer that I call Guards. He's a five-year-old this year and I've got a lot of history with him. But what happened was Jacob and I were just having a conversation. I looked over Jacob's shoulder. Uh, there's a nice buck out in the CRP. I put the knocks on him and I truly believed that it was the 12. So I believe Jacob started filming him and I started rattling. And as soon as I hit the horns. Jacob was like, he's coming. Sure enough, he came into about 50 yards. And uh, I thought it was the 12. I grabbed my bow, I turned around, and it was guards. Just an awesome deer, just not the one that I was after. So I hung my bow up. We had his interest with, with the rattling, but it looked like he was going to go away. And just for footage sake and for fun, I wanted to get him in here. So. I did a couple bleats, and that was enough to grab his attention, bring him in at 20 yards, and man, I kind of felt like a joker when he was sitting right here under the tree. I felt like I probably should have shot him, but you know what, I'm pretty stubborn. When I'm hunting one deer, it's that deer or tag soup, and I believe he's still up on this ridge at 150, 200 yards. I mean, I've got a lot of time to get it done for this deer, so all in all, guards is an absolute toad as well and uh, I don't know if he comes back out later in the week later in the season it's gonna be a tough call but it's been an awesome day so far and we still have four hours left so Jacob and I are pumped looking forward to editing this one putting this one together for you guys but we'll see what the rest of the evening has in store Well guys, this is probably going to wrap it up for today. Overall, really good sit. Um, good conditions, just a beautiful day overall. There's one thing that I wanted to mention that I forgot to mention earlier. I was reviewing footage uh, from the hunt so far and just looking at Hog Jr. And 
I notice that he has what looks like a wound or some kind of bullet hole or puncture. Maybe he got gored by a buck, but it's right on his back right leg. And I was kind of wondering if that might play into how his demeanor's been so far when I've been calling at him. You know, I do regret not maybe giving a doe bleat to him a couple times the other day. I didn't have the call, unfortunately, but maybe that could have been enough to bring him in. But I feel like we're in the game for him. You know, we keep encountering this deer. It seems like almost every time we're on the farm and every time that we're not on the farm working, where I want to sit that night, he is there. So we're getting close. We've got a few more days to get after it. And then I'm going to head down over to Lee's and I'm going to film Lee over the weekend, get after Big O. You know, that deer's been showing up pretty regularly on uh, his cameras over there. And I think we got a good shot of getting after him this weekend, but we're going to get down and uh, go grab a bite to eat. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you back in the morning.